Hi there, Ian Foxley here. Welcome to day number 126 of my comparison between Genesis Mining and the Gore Miners Hashlets. Ah, oh, yes, so another day. Let's see what our payouts were with Genesis Mining today. Right then, so my first payout for mining day 17th of the 1st, 2015, was the following. Um, for my script 1 mega hash contract, the payout was, um, let's see, two Satoshis. Don't forget, if it says zero, use the I, roll over the I, you get the info box, very good. Tells you lots of information. The SHA-256 10 giga hash contract payout uh, was 6,195 Satoshis. So let's bring up my wallet now. And as you can see, Bitstamp is selling a Bitcoin at $209 at the moment. And there you can see my 6,195 payout there. This payout doesn't get transferred to my wallet because it's too small, so it'll be stored. And at some point, they'll pay it out for me. So anyway, let's go over to the Zen portal and see how the hashlets did. Right then, so let's have a look at the rates for today. Um, not really much changed really since uh, since I last looked really. Still the same kind of rates. The Guild Multi Hash, 1144 Satoshi per Giga Hash. The Zen Pool there with a average payout of 16,970. Uh, 16, and then you have the Waffle Pool, LTC Pool, etc. Clever Hashlet, Multi Hashlet all down the bottom. There's not really much of a difference between the payouts. I mean the highest is 16,970. And then you go down to like 15,000 for the hashlet bit there. So really there's a variable, not really much of a of a change there between them, to be honest. Um, let's have a look at the payouts that we got with the hashlets then. Right then, so the hashlet Genesis 15 giga hash payout was 17,160 with 14,067 Satoshi as a fee. The Hashlet Zen, 37,512 with 37,511 as a fee. And the Hashlet Waffle, 37,512 was the payout with 37,511 as the fee. So what I'll do now is bring up my notepad so you can compare all of the payouts side by side. So here are the results for the mining um, not day 126. So the Genesis Mining 10 giga hash payout was 6,195 compared to the Genesis Hashlet's 15 giga hash payout of 3,093. So the Genesis Hashlet payout was better than uh, the previous day's payout, but still only about half as much as Genesis Mining's payout there. So not sure what's going on with the uh, the SHA-256 Hashlet's now on. Uh, the Zen Zen cloud there. That's just you know. Don't forget this is 15 giga hash, so you know. So not very good at all. The Genesis mining one mega hash uh, script life contract payout was two satoshi. So basically the same as yesterday, uh, the day before. So not so good. But then when you look at the waffle hashlet payout and the Zen hashlet payout, which is one satoshi, then well I suppose. To Satoshi isn't too bad, although it is still quite bad. Um, I might add some more payouts to this, um, although it, they won't actually be part of the comparison. But um, I have a friend of mine who has a, uh, a one year contract with Genesis Mining. Now, the one year contracts uh, finished around August, and those. Uh, contracts were quite expensive compared to the, you know, to the other contracts that came out afterwards. I mean, um, what happened originally was Genesis Mining used to sell, sell a one-year contract, and their contract had no fees, so you didn't have a daily fee. Now, at the time, I think the last contract they did was around, I think it was about nineteen dollars and ninety-nine, or it might have been something, you know, something like that was probably their last payout, or or twenty dollars, something like that. And then what happened was was Gore Miners came out with their products, which were like fourteen ninety nine or fifteen ninety nine per mega hash, and then Zen Zeus hash come along, and their prices were quite low. So Genesis Mining had to do something, so that's why they brought out the lower price contracts, but with the uh, daily fee. 
So I thought I'd post what the payouts would be, for example, if you didn't have a fee, um, just to give some of you an idea. And the other thing is, is that I did a separate video yesterday where I spoke about the fact that um, Genesis Mining had lowered their prices of their SHA-256 contracts. Um, I had posted a video on that. If you look through my videos, you will see one that I posted yesterday. One thing I didn't put in that video, and I didn't really know about it until um, uh, a few hours ago, was that the um, daily fee for those contracts was different as well. Um, with my contract, I pay two cents per 10 giga hash. Um, with these new contracts, it's one and a half cents per 10 giga hash. So basically, not only are you getting a cheaper price, but then also the daily fee is less. So you're all, you're, so you're, so not only are you getting a better payout from the start anyway. Um, obviously, you know your RRI. I mean, because obviously you're paying less, but then also you're you're going to get a better payout just because of the fact that the um, that the fee isn't as much so you so that's kind of interesting as well so what I'm gonna do is um, I've got a friend or I've got someone that all um, has got a contract with that you can only buy from 5 giga hash um, sorry you can only buy 50 giga hash as the minimum so what I'll do is I'll probably take their 50 giga hash payout and then I'll divide it by 5 to get basically what 10 giga hash would be and then I might post that as well here too. I don't know if I'll do a video, but what I mean is I might post it here on the notepad and maybe add another couple of columns to the side, or perhaps I'll just leave it in my description, or I might just leave it onto my, or I might leave the results on my Bitcoin talk forum. Maybe perhaps you could leave a comment and tell me what you think is best. Unfortunately, I can't video their interface, so I can't show you the payouts on their screen directly, but I can post the payouts or, or write them down. Um, so yeah, so that's that for today. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, come back again tomorrow for day number 127. Uh, bye for now.